Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to review the little Go Anywhere light uh, that is from Aperture. This is the ALMW, and it packs a lot of features and a lot of performance and a lot of versatility into a little tiny package that's highly portable, can fit inside this little case, but yet can put out a pretty massive amount of light. In fact, it can put out to up to 4,000 lux um, at one feet, you know, so a lot of light. And then it even has a boost mode where it can double, not double that, but 50% higher at 6,000 lux. And that will run that for a, a minute in that extra boost mode to where it really cranks everything up. And so a, a little light that has packs a lot of punch and obviously because of its compact size, it's very, very con convenient. It's actually got a rechargeable lithium battery unit inside. And so that gives you the option to charge it via USB-C. And uh, on its minimum light setting, it can run for up to 24 hours. And so um, lasts for a long time in that kind of mode. But even at maximum mode, the built-in lithium ion battery will run for 80 minutes at maximum um, brightness. And so you can get quite a long time of, of use out of this compact light. And of course, you know, as I noted, it's the compact size allows you to do some really creative things with it and put it in places where you couldn't put other lights, you know, like this. The small size of the light makes it convenient to put in spots that you might not otherwise be able to put a light into. In this case, I've got it on the inside the instrument cluster in front of me, and so it's able to light an interior. Obviously, this could be useful for uh, doing creative portrait work of a couple inside of a car, or even for a filmmaker to be able to illuminate faces where you're shooting through glass or shooting in a dark environment, or in this case, where I've got a light source beyond, but able to equalize lighting in side. The other cool thing about it is that it is um, actually waterproof and so it is IP68 dustproof and waterproof down to 33 feet and so it also becomes uh, an option if you're wanting to shoot um, underwater uh, photography or videography and so it gives you some creative options if you're a filmmaker um, you know they they show kind of in the apertures feature video they show you know an underwater sequence I'm not really set up for doing a lot of underwater uh, filming and so so anyway, you're going to have to uh, look at what they've done to check that out. But, you know, it's, uh, it's just another amount of flexibility for a light source for this. Now, it's got 10 different light um, brightness levels um, in st 10 steps or so, you know, basically from if you're looking at 1 to 100, it's, you know, at 10 degree uh, steps along the way. It also has five built-in different special effects, including paparazzi, lightning, TV, fireworks, faulty bulb, you know, just some options, creative options, again, on the cheap if you're doing filmmaking and you need some special effects. Now, in this case, this is not a, a variable temperature light. It is a constant 5600 Kelvin, so daylight balanced uh, bulb there. And it's, but it's actually a chip on board LED technology, so it does have a lot of versatility there. What it does include, however, in the accessory department is that it comes with a you know, a little gel filter holder and a variety of different gel colors here. And so you have an opportunity to uh, go ahead and to set up, you know, different lighting uh, color temperatures via that. It also comes with a little uh, silicon diffuser that you can pop on and uh, that will obviously help to give you a softer light source if that is a priority for you. Now they have designed it to where it has a all around, it's the whole housing is made out of aluminum, very, very nice, high grade, it feels great. You know, if you're someone that appreciates well-made things, you're gonna like this, um, very durable and tough. And then it's got a variety of heat sinks that are built into it. And so it's a fanless uh, heat sink technology. And so far, I mean, I've run it quite a bit outside just to help to provide some fill lighting for my segments. You know, for example, in this uh, se segment here, you can see that I've got some fill light that's going and that was provided courtesy of this. I've also got it set up to where I can run it in concert with some other lights um, that I own. And so, you know, particularly when I'm outdoors in really bright conditions, I can provide just enough fill light to balance perhaps a bright background. However, it's, it's, you can make a pretty big difference even in, you know, in certain scenarios, you can make a big difference even with just one of these, like in this scenario here. So in this case, I'm using the ALMW to help to offset a bright backlit subject that without any kind of front lighting would end up with myself, the subject being in shadow. 
Here's the exact same scene with the exact same settings with one difference. I don't have the Aperture ALMW turned on. So you can see that even one of these units in this kind of setting, an indoor setting, even with a bright window lit background, is enough to offset the power of the sun in this case. Now it's not going to work necessarily in direct sun unless you have a light really, really close to your subject. And there's going to be limits to how many people you can effectively light with one of these units. But it goes to show how that this little tiny unit that you can bring along can really open up a lot of extra possibilities for a filmmaker or even a portrait photographer for that matter. So you've got a couple of options um, for how you're going to mount the light itself and um, it's threaded for quarter inch there. Then, you know, in you know, other cases like what I've got here is, you know, I was looking for a way to, you know, add it, it to complement maybe another light and so that I could have more than one and I could angle one at a little different place. So what I've got here is a double ball head from small rig and so it leaves open here at the top to where I could in fact, let's just take that clamp down a little bit. And so then I could light another light source at a different height or angle. And, you know, then also have this and have a lot of flexibility for positioning it around in other lighting conditions. And so, um, you know, very flexible again, because it's small, because it's got built in battery, easy to recharge, you know, even on the fly. And so uh, it's, I'm finding it to be a very, very versatile light because it's so small, it can go in places where some of my other lights cannot. And so certainly it has some value uh, when it comes to that. Now the light retails for around 200 bucks. I'll be throwing linkage in the description down below. And so it's not necessarily cheap, but it is very, very nicely made. All the accessories are really nicely made. And so, I mean, to be able to take you know, a light that has that much light output and so much versatility and what looks like a, a pouch that, you know, a pair of headphones used to come in. Could also, you know, thread that on to, you know, like a, um, you know, a cold shoe and mount it on the top of a camera if you wanted to do that. Um, it's light enough you could mount it on a gimbal assembly. And, and so, yeah, I mean, just a lot of uh, versatility there for that. So uh, take a look in the description down below and I've got linkage to where you can check out more information about it. Um, and there's some buying links there. And as always, there are linkage there to follow me on social media. You can become a patron um, and get advanced screenings of upcoming content. And of course, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.